Hello everyone, Miss Cavi Queen here, otherwise known as Emma, and today I'm going to be doing a video on what veggies and fruits to feed your guinea pigs and how to feed them. So, first of all, I just want to say that your guinea pig should always have a fresh supply of good guinea pig hibbles. Um, if they're over six months, they should be having a Timothy Hay based guinea pig pellet, um, Oxbow, Burgess, uh, Martin, they're all good brands. If it's under six months, they should have a alfalfa based pellet because they're still growing. So that should always be available. They should always also have a good Timothy hay uh, or an orchard grass hay, anything like that, or alfalfa hay if they're younger guinea pigs, but for the most part they should always have a good Timothy hay. So this is just things that should always be offered to your guinea pigs, not including snacks. And of course they should always have fresh water, whether you feed it in a dish or a water bottle, it's up to you, but it needs to always be available. So the first thing we're gonna do, or the first thing I'll talk about because it's the favorite are baby carrots or carrots. <laughs> My guinea pigs are picky and only eat baby carrots. I don't know why, but they don't see. Hi, sorry everyone, my camera just died. But as I was saying, my guinea pigs, um, they don't really like big carrots for some reason, and they only like little carrots. So I feed them each. They each get about two of these when I do feed them. You can feed them like you could feed them almost every day. It's not going to hurt them. Carrots are perfectly fine. They are a good source of some vitamin C, so they could be fed on a daily, weekly basis. And then I have, next on the list, I'm hoping my camera doesn't die again, I apologize if it does, are cherry tomatoes. So I just like them because they're smaller. Um, these ones are a bit bigger, so sometimes I cut them in half. I bet you can hear Juno and Winnie are popcorning in the background in their cages. I couldn't have anybody with me right now because they would all try to eat all of the treats I have. But So cherry tomatoes, they can be a bit acidic and you don't want to feed um, any acidic foods too often. So I would say you could feed them maybe twice a week to once a week just because they can get sores on their lips if you feed them too often. But they're also a good source of vitamin C. Um, next up we have bell peppers. So you can feed any of the colors of sweet bell peppers. Um, you never want to give them anything spicy, so never any spicy foods. So I would just give um, them a little slice. They are sweet um, and have some sugar in them, but you can feed them a couple times a week and it won't hurt them. I definitely do and they love it. You do want to make sure that you don't feed them the seeds though. Um, I have just read that you're supposed to deseed it. I don't know if it's really bad for them, but it's not the greatest, so just give them the flesh of it, not the seeds. And with all these vegetables and fruits, make sure you wash everything before you give it to them too. And then I have some green grapes. Red grapes are fine for them too. Um, I wouldn't give them the ones that, with the seeds in them just because they could potentially get stuck in their teeth and choke and stuff like that, but these are just the simple, normal, small green grapes and I would feed them maybe once or twice a week, but if I'm going to be feeding them one day, if I'm going to be feeding them grapes, I'm not going to go and feed them grapes with tomatoes, so you just want to pick any sweet sugary fruits you want to feed uh, sparingly because veggies really are the best for them. But I do enjoy giving my pigs like maybe a grape a week and they each get one grape because they're tiny. Um, but I usually try to balance things out and say give them some carrots with grapes or some lettuce or cucumber just so I'm not giving them a ton of sugary foods or acidic foods. So there's some grapes. Um, next thing, the favorite, 
is an apple. This is just a Granny Smith apple, but they can really have any type of apple. You never want to feed them the seeds because um, they are supposedly poisonous. Not sure if that's true or not, but why risk it? Um, for your pig, I would give them maybe like a fifth of the apple or just a little slice of it. And you don't want to feed it, like you could feed it maybe once or twice a week, but once again, you don't want to feed them apple and grapes and tomatoes because they're all acidic fruits. So it can lead to lip sores. So every now and again, if you want to feed them some apple, everybody loves apple, and just feed it with some vegetables too. Or if you only give your pig one fruit or veggie at a time, that's also good. Um, and then there's kiwi. Kiwi is a nice treat to give them just every now and then if you want. Um, but And they can eat the peel. It's fine for them. Same with apples um, and all the other things I've mentioned. They can eat the outside. But um, they're also, kiwis are quite sugary and acidic so I wouldn't feed them too frequently. Maybe once a week or probably closer to once every two weeks I would feed a kiwi but my pigs aren't super keen on kiwi so I don't feed it terribly often and then I have a little baby orange or a clementine um, clementines, tangerines, oranges, grapefruit they're all good great source of vitamin C you just want to feed them sparingly and not at the same time that you're giving them other um, acidic fruits so I would give them, and the peel is actually edible too, some guinea pigs eat it and some don't, but I would only give them that maybe every couple weeks just because it is quite acidic and it can give them mouth sores, but my guinea pigs have never had an issue with um, mouth sores that I know of, so yeah, so they like clementines and little oranges. And then moving on with fruit, I have some pineapple and strawberries. Pineapple you want to give very sparingly because it's extremely high in sugar and it can it's pretty acidic too. So maybe like once a month if you're not feeding a lot of other um, sugary foods. Just And a lot of guinea pigs don't actually like pineapple I find. But some of mine do so every now and then I'll give them a small piece of it. So you just want to give them a size about that big. And then there's strawberries. They can each have one small strawberry for themselves um, about once a week. And they can also eat the strawberry tops too. They don't have to have the tops taken off. This is just the ones I have because I got them from a store that are already like this. But yeah, so strawberries are fine for them. They're not terribly sugary. I guess in the summer they are. But, so once a week for a strawberry is probably fine if you're just giving one small strawberry. Because they're not terribly acidic. And then a favorite for my guinea pigs is a cucumber. Um, doesn't matter if it's a small cucumber or English cucumber. Any type of cucumber is fine. Um, and I would give them maybe about that size of a chunk. So, like, a good inch slice is good for them. They love it. Uh, it's a lot of water, but there's also some nutrients um, from the green skin, so you don't have to peel it or anything like that. They enjoy it. And I think this is the last veggie I have, is just some romaine lettuce. So you can give them, oh sorry, cucumber, you can feed, I mean you can feed it almost every other day. You just don't, you want to be careful, you don't want to feed it too often because it can give them diarrhea because it is quite watery. Um, yeah, and then I have romaine lettuce. You never want to feed anything like iceberg lettuce because of the water content. It can upset their stomach and give them diarrhea, so you don't want to give that. Um, but romaine lettuce is fine. You can give them the stock and all, and they love it. Um, they can have this almost every other day I would say is not going to hurt them. You just want to alternate between all these foods. You don't want to give them a lot of everything. You just want to give them everything in moderation. 
um, some fruits and veggies that I don't have on me today but that you can feed are broccoli you can give a small amount it can make them um, gassy so you don't want to give it to them often just small amounts maybe once a month or so um, banana does the same thing you can give them a very tiny slice and they can also eat the peel but just a very small slice is a treat now and then um, celery celery they love it's also high in water content so you want to watch out for anything that is because it can lead to diarrhea um, but if you slice it up in just small um, little slices so they can't choke because it is quite stringy um, it's fine for them too I'm trying to think if cauliflower feeds sparingly um, kale is great it's very high in vitamin C so it's good for them too um, and yeah that's all I can think of right now but there's just some basic fruits and veggies to have in your fridge to feed as a treat because the best treat you can give them is fresh fruits and veggies and make sure you always have fresh hay and kibble and water and I think that's all for now um, I'll quickly show the pigs provided that my camera doesn't run out I just I have to clean them out today so I apologize that they're messy there's Juno and Weenie I just put the house in for them while I was doing the video and Juno's on top of it because they're silly and Pashmina, her cage is a mess, even though I did sweep it out yesterday. But she's in her house there, all poofed up. Cute as pie. There. There are the girls. And I'll quickly show them. Hey, pigs. Hey, Cappy. There's Cappy and Pippin. They've got the little cozy sack pocket made by Piggy Pig Pigs. That's what they have this week um, and their cage is also a mess but they smell the fruits and veggies on my hands but I'll wrap it up now thanks everyone for watching bye